Hello world. In this video, we are going to see how to add unique reference for bulk ad queue item. You might have already known how to add unique reference for ad queue item, but adding unique reference for bulk ad queue item is not so easy. We were seeing that. Let us have a small recap on what unique reference is all about. Unique reference for a queue ensures that there are no chances for duplicate transactions added to it. It's more like a primary key for a SQL table. So in queue, we are adding items to the queue, right? And if we want the items not to be duplicated, then we can set the property called enforce unique reference in the queue. And then while you add the items to the queue, we have to set the property called reference with a unique value. Let me create a queue first. I'm going to orchestrate it, go to queues and add a new queue. I'm going to create a queue called certification and click the checkbox enforce unique references. This means all the items in the queue must have a reference property added to it and the reference should have a unique value in it. Click add. Now that we have added a queue, now let me open UA path. Create a simple project. And we would try adding items to the queue with a well known add queue item activity. First, let us see what items do we add now. We have this Excel called certifications which has the details like student ID, course ID, status, and completion date. Here, what makes this Excel unique is the combination of both student ID and course ID. Let me head over to UA path and first do a Excel application scope. Since I want to read all the data from the Excel to a data table to do the activity. The path for the Excel file is added here. We would use a read range activity to read the data from the Excel. The sheet name is certifications. And I'm going to read the entire range. I'm going to save the result in a table called DT cert. Now that I have added an Excel application scope and I put a read range activity to read all the data from the sheet sheet certifications to the table called DT cert. Now, I'm going to add these items to the queue by using the classic add queue item activity. For that, we need a for each row in data table. I'm, I'm going to loop the rows of the table called DT cert. And now I'll use add queue item activity. And here I want to choose the orchestrator folder path, the queue name, and the item information. So when we choose the item information, we have to add all the columns one by one. So I would choose student ID, and the value is current row of student ID dot to string in the same way I'm going to add all other entries now let us run the project to see if the items are getting added to the queue this excel has a total of 199 records I'm going to orchestrate it to see if the items are getting added view transactions The project has started running and it said the reference is required for unique references queue. As I said before, in order to use enforce unique reference, we have to specify which is the unique key for every entry. So in the add queue item, we have this reference property, which I would take and say the reference is current row of student ID plus or I would say dot string ambassand 
current row of course id dot to string now this issue should be resolved i will run the project again the project has started running and now i am checking if the items are added to the queue yes you can see that seven items are added now i would refresh the queue a couple of times to see if all the items are added to the queue now we are towards the end of this queue and we can see all the items are getting added to the queue one by one right now instead of this add queue item what if i use the activity called bulk add queue item i would comment out this activity since i, since I don't need this anymore and i would add this bulk add queue items activity i would choose orchestrator I would choose the queue name and of course since we have the items already we cannot add the items again so i would go back to orchestrator and delete the queue first i would recreate the queue and enable enforce unique references and click add now the queue has been created and for bulk add queue items we just need the whole data table and that's it so it will add all the rows of the table to the queue as individual transactions so i just mentioned dt set if i run this certainly i'll get the same error because for these bulk queue items i have not set the unique reference for every record It's a different exception since it says certification does not exist. As in the queue name here mentioned is certification, but we have added a queue called certifications. But still, if I run again, I would get a different exception. We can see the exception now. It says reference is required for unique reference queues, right? So how to add reference for this bulk add queue item? In UA path, for bulk add queue items, if you want to add a reference for every row, we need to have we need to have a column called a reference added to it. So what I would do, I would add a data column before adding the items to the queue. To this column name, it's reference. The name should be exactly the same, and the table should be dt cert. Now that I have added a column, but that doesn't ends here right because we need to have the values in the reference column right so what i would do i have two approaches one is the longest way where i will use a for each row in data table and then dt cert and then assign activity to assign the values of the column right i can use um, current row of a reference equals current row of student id dot to string plus current row of course id dot to string this would work fine so i will try adding the items now Now, I would refresh the queue and I got all the items added to the queue and we have the reference column as expected. But what if the Excel has thousands of records, maybe 10,000, 20,000 or 1 lakh records? Looping through all the records one by one would be a tedious task, right? So what can be done here? I would delete this for each row activity and there is a feature called derived columns so which i'd be using here i would just use one assign activity and say dt cert dot columns of reference dot 
expression okay so if you can see this it's dt set of columns of reference so that means we're going to refer the column called reference and we have an attribute called expression and what do we set to that expression in double quotes i just mentioned the column name student id plus course id that's it i don't need any kind of for loop so this will actually convert this column to a calculated column which will add both the values of student id and course id to this column to test this i am going back to the queue i would delete the queue because i don't need this anymore and click add queue create new queue certifications info unique references and add now let me run the project execution actually ended i'm going back refresh to see all the items and we have the references as expected so in this video we have learned what unique reference is how to add unique reference for add queue item how to add unique reference for bulk add queue item activities hope you enjoyed this video please leave your feedback in the comment section like and share this video and subscribe to our channel thank you